Hey everyone, it's the great Maggie and I, and we are on Natural today. We are hanging out as we always do, and this is the joy of retirement. But I wanted to delve into something I think is very poignant in uh, that leads up to estrangement, making it even more difficult for us parents who love our children. Just going to dive into a few things. Hopefully some of this will resonate with you. I was raised in a Catholic home, Catholic family. Um, we went to church or went to Catholic school. I have three biological sisters from the same parents. My parents divorced when I was 12. I was in the seventh grade. And the Catholic grade school I went to did not know how to handle it because divorce was frowned upon. And so, lo and behold, my mom found uh, a way to get us. I don't know why she did this, but we ended up being lower income, which qualified us for lunch tickets. And so in my grade school, you had one line for the regular kids and one line for the low income kids. And my sisters and I were then forced to go into the low income um, lunch ticket line. And that just caused a lot of shame and embarrassment. Like I said, the school didn't really know what to do with us because it, divorce was unheard of back then. And my parents were the first to get divorced. And then moving on to my assault in the military, I was sexually assaulted or raped by a fellow soldier and did not seek treatment. I carried guilt and shame around for that. I then went on to marry a man who abused me throughout the course of our relationship and had two children. And I carried guilt and shame around about that. And then up to my estrangement, uh, my children chose to disconnect over a decade ago. And I carried guilt and shame around about that. I'm wondering, and it's not that I don't carry guilt and shame around things that I've chosen to do, and things that I'm not necessarily proud of, but why am I carrying around guilt and shame inflicted by other people? I think that's a lot of what holds us back from moving forward after the estrangement is the guilt and shame. What am I going to say when family members ask, and what am I going to say when longtime friends ask who still have relationships with their kids? It really is quite something. So I think it's time we release ourselves from the guilt and shame inflicted on us by other people and realize that this is life. People are sometimes not kind and also sometimes we raise people who are not very kind either and there's another aspect of guilt and shame in that as well. So think about that. Let's talk about it and I'll be back.